All right, what's up, everyone? This is going to be my Kovacs playlist warm up for Valorant. Uh, I go by Chase the Gemini in game. Uh, I want to show you guys how I warm up. Now, I'm not saying I am the best nor the worst. This is just how I improve my aim before I play the game. If you're curious about this playlist, I will have the share code in the comments below. But as you can see right here, if you just copy this code, you can copy it and then it should come up in these online scenarios. Let's see. If you want to search on your own, uh, I start with two of these. This is subject to change in the coming months and days or years, whatever we're going to do. But this is my drills. Centering, 90 no strafes. Uh, Kata, I see long strafes. WW3T Voltaic. One wall, six targets, small. One wall, four TS, fault tick. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Vox target switch, click small. Reflex micro plus plus flick. Reflex flick easy. Reflex flick mini. Tam speed, two BP silver. And pokeball, one W4T shrink. Usually... I'm trying to aim for this warm-up to be between 10 and 15, maybe 20 minutes on some longer days. Just quick little drills so that we can get to uh, in-game of Valorant. Here are my settings. It's a visual theme, you can kind of do whatever. I have my sensitivity on 1600 DPI with 0.135, my mode set to Valorant. Vertical sensitivity locked to horizontal, on, invert mouse off, zoom sense, multiplier uh, to one, mirror that in-game. Toggle, zoom ADS, toggle off. FOV, I mirror that to Valorant, so 103, and then select Valorant here. Make sure your game is properly selected. Crosshair, you can just click on this and choose any crosshair that you want. I prefer the cross to the yay cross. Any color, just more or less contrasting colors to what you're seeing in game. Uh, max FPS, I boost this all the way up to 360. Menu, max FPS, uh, I, can, I usually leave this at 60 default. If you have anything different, kind of just leave it at maybe 30 when you like Alt-Tab out. But I leave it at default 60. Countdown before challenge starts. I uh, just like having three seconds before it begins. It allows me a couple more seconds to just focus and dial in before I begin. Before the round starts. You can leave this at zero if you want to begin instantly. Keybinds, everything's default. Weapon right here. <clears throat> I have show weapon off. I want the most FPS and less clutter on my screen. So I have cosmetic show weapon off, override weapon model off, hit scan graphic visible off, visual origin of weapon toggled on, uh, zoom, I have zoom scoped as no scope, crosshair, crosshair bloom, I have that untoggled. Uh, for sounds, this is all preference if you want to add stuff, I just left this all default, hit markers, I have this all off. Video settings, full screen mode for the most FPS. Uh, put your resolution. Some of you might be playing on 3840 by 2160. I play on 1920 by 1080, so I just leave it at that. Highest refresh rate of your monitor. I play on a 240 hertz monitor, so I leave this as high as possible. Resolution scale at 100. V-Sync off. I usually turn all this off. All of this should be off. Take that back. One frame thread lag. Unchecked. Disable UE4's one frame thread lag. Highly recommended to change to not change from default. Tiled reflections off, anisotropic filtering. Uh, you can leave this on whatever you want. I just like it on 16 because it's a little bit smoother. Simulated input lag, zero. Gamma default at 2.2. NVIDIA reflex low latency. Uh, you can leave this on enabled plus boost if you have a NVIDIA card. Check around, see how your uh, mouse clicks feel or your ping. NVIDIA Reflex Analyze Flash Indicator. This is easier to test latency with Reflex Latency Analyzers. Maybe. I'm going to leave that off for now. Pause Loss of Focus. When Alt-Tabbing, this will automatically pause the game to save the system resources. Cool. Make sure to hit Save. Go back to Settings. Uh, visuals. Hide Gibbs. Click on that. Bullet hole duration, 5 seconds so you can see whether you missed or not. High quality textures. Uh, this option provides no improvement frame rate, but is a personal preference in terms of visibility. We like seeing what we're shooting, so I'm gonna leave that clicked on. Sky default, walls, pure color, floors, pure color, ramps, gray wood board, ceiling, gray wood board. 
enemy colors. Take a look at these settings. Override head, toggled, override body, toggled. Roughness 0.63, metallic zero, full bright 0.65. Uh, the head color yellow, body red, just easier for me to see. Team colors, same kind of thing. Head is, oh, it's reversed. So team colors, I have the head is red and the body is yellow. For enemy colors, head is yellow, body is red. Override head color, clicked on. Override body color, click on toggle. Set body colors as attack color, toggle that off. Roughness zero, metallic 0.1, full bright zero. Uh, all this sound up to you is just preference. I like having it pretty quiet. I usually listen to music when I do these drills, but I'm just leaving these settings on so you can see how mine are set up. Go over the UI, see what's toggled. You can pause it here, see what you want to click on or click off. Most of this is just all default. And then miscellaneous. Fantastic. Make sure it saves so everything saves. And then as you add your playlist, it'll fill up and populate in here. Or you can search the share code right here to find this playlist. Let's get warmed up. Here we go. So this is just clicking and tracking. And so we begin. Now what I'm focusing on here is just basically my posture, how smooth my hand is tracing across the angle, and seeing if I feel any like jittery. If you have coffee before this, or you know, if you're tired, you might be a little sluggish for this, but we're going for accuracy. And I'm gonna clip this up just so it's a pretty easy YouTube video to watch, not too long. I'll just give you the highlights of each section. But I just wanna share my process with all of you to make show you uh, kind of wh what I go through before I warm up for a game of Valorant. Cool. Quick little menu, if you guys wanna see this. Final score, we do it again. Each of these drills I do twice. Basically I'm trying to get as much uh, consistent horizontal movement across the board here. Not so jittery, I'm also tracing my arm or where my crosshair goes a little bit further so that when the model that I'm looking at, this little red model, catches up, I'm not like lagging behind. Cause you know when you're in Valorant and like someone swings pretty like far in front of you? And your mouse just drags behind pretty quick. That's what I'm trying to avoid. Next task. We have, that was centering 90 no strafes. This one is Kata Icy Long Strafes. And this is just me trying to keep the tracking as smooth as possible wherever it goes as it spawns. If anyone has any recommendations or tips that help me improve or help the community improve, please drop them in the comments below. Let me know. But here we're just focusing, focusing on smooth tracking, making sure that our crosshair stays in pretty much the center of where this model is the whole time. If you feel that you can't keep up in terms of how fast this moves, perhaps you need to boost your sensitivity up just a little bit. If you feel like your mouse is too jittery, perhaps dropping down your sensitivity a little bit. I'm gonna make this into a series as well. So as these numbers get tracked, we are going to improve hopefully throughout the weeks and months with the Immortal Roadmap program as I climb to Radiant. Uh, you can right click as well if you wanna zoom in, makes it a little bit easier to see. I just like having it uh, holding left click and just kind of trace it. And then whenever it's like off, the model goes away, I like to reset my crosshair to the center of my screen. Basically having an anchor point. Cool. All right, this one is WW3T uh, Voltaic. If I say it wrong, let me know. Voltaic, Voltaic, Voltaic. See that the uh, the dot there is staying on the map. That lets me know that I missed that shot. For this one, I'm trying to get as smooth lines as possible, and I'm going for accuracy. Speed will pick up over time, but I'm trying to just make sure that I micro adjust and go to, from each shot to shot. And if anyone has any recommendations or comments, uh, tips and tricks of how to do these drills more proper, if you have a higher score or just more experience in Kovacs and Aim Labs. Uh, please let me know. Drop them in the comments. The community will be grateful for you. Uh, also, for those wondering, I am a 
forearm aimer, but I micro adjust with my wrist when it comes to certain like spots and angles. So I use my full forearm on a mouse pad. This is also a G Pro wireless with mouse grips. I will also have some new skates being shipped here this week. So we have a 93.91% accuracy. I'm really excited to see the results throughout the months. Uh, I'm gonna track, whoops. I missed three, so I had to reload, which makes basically the score less because you have to hit your shots. As we go, I might shift these to doing like one of them versus two versus three. It all varies depending on what type of drill you need to do and warm up with. Uh, for now, my headshot percentage is very low, so I'm going to basically do all these two. And slowly work my way up so that I can improve. So on these ones, I felt my, my wrist was a little bit jittery there. I just missed all those. So maybe I'm going to like lighten up on my wrist tension and grip my mouse just a little bit less tighter so that my uh, arm glides across the mouse pad without being too tense. Cool. This one was one wall, six targets small. We go again. Let's do one wall, four TS. Baltic with the BB gun. Same uh, mindset, I just wanna go for accuracy over speed because speed will come with accuracy. Slow is smooth. Smooth is precise. Cool. Nice. Once again, that was 1W4TS Voltaic. Next, we got Vox Target Switch. Click small. I like this one. Definitely challenging because I think I'm always on it but then it like moves in front of the crosshair. So this is really good for like getting that predictive click, I guess. If you rush it, you'll find that you miss your shots more so than usual. So once again, go smooth and just keep trying your best. Oh, there I missed all three. It's like pretend you're in the range and then click when you feel you're confident that you'll hit your shots. Not to rush, but going at a moderate pace so that you have both good accuracy as I miss all three, <laughs> and also a good pace. Focus on one at a time, my eyes just kind of drawn. So this is also good like eye training because you're kind of tracking. All right, that was Vox Target Switch, click small. Now we have Reflex Micro Plus Plus Flick. This is what I use for my wrist. It's up to you what you're more comfortable with. Some people reset in the middle I like leaving my crosshair at the dot and just uh, basically doing as smooth as a glide from one dot to the next. Some people go click reset in the middle, you know, but I find what, what works for me is going smoothly across. But maybe we'll do one of each. Go again, reflow, reflex, micro, plus, plus, flick. Okay, next we have Reflex Flick Easy. Basically, I'm just trying to do a straight line to where I think the target would be. That was actually very challenging for me. I felt very unnaturally weird, but we're gonna keep going. Okay, that was Reflex Flick Easy. Next we have Reflex Flick Mini. Kind of the same as Reflex Micro Plus Plus. This is more like your micro flick adjustments. Just to see how your wrist is warmed up. I feel like I was in flow state there for a second, hitting all my shots. Felt a lot more natural to me. Feeling a little bit more warmed up in the wrist. Make sure my arm feels nice and smooth. We go again. Fantastic. Once again, that was Reflex Flick Mini. 
Next we have Tam Speed 2 BP Silver. This would be a good video to see the progress over time. You can see that I'm missing a lot. Some of them I have different uh, flow states where I am hitting the shots, but it's, uh, I am missing a lot, which may be something to uh, track throughout the, the months. Okay. Here we go again. Ham speed two BP silver. Hydration check. Last but not least, Pokeball one W four T shrink. Sometimes these have like more health, you gotta like double click them. But I just move from one to the one to the next and just see where it goes. And you'll see that they are getting smaller, so my accuracy needs to be more uh, precise with the micro adjustments. Okay. Pokeball 1W4T shrink. Fantastic. Pokeball 1W4T shrink final score. And this is week one. I'm going to be tracking my stats throughout the days, weeks, and months. And I hope that you all see my progress and hopefully follow along with your own. So, once again, this was my Kovacs Chase the Gemini Valorant warm up. Some of you know me, Cybreeds. Once again, it's Centering 90 No Strafe, Kata IC Long Strafes, WW3T Voltic, One Wall, Six Targets Small, One Wall, 4TS Voltic. Fox target switch click small, reflex micro plus plus flick, reflex flick easy, reflex flick mini, tam speed 2bp silver, pokeball 1w4t shrink. And I will paste this share code in the comments. If this share code for whatever reason doesn't work, just um, go over to your online scenarios and you can search any of these names right here and they will populate. You can then go to your local playlist and create a new playlist. So if you want to make your own, just uh, online if you want to upload it to other people, local if you just want it to yourself. Basically, these are what I've used. And yeah, I hope that helps. If anyone has any questions, comments, concerns, or just things they don't want to improve upon or just talk about, let me know. I am happy to answer them in the comment section below. Have a fantastic day. Hopefully this video wasn't too long. Peace.